Hey guys, welcome to part one, and in today's crafting video I am going to be showing you how to make different books. In the other videos there will also be phones and jotters. On screen is going to be all the different materials you will need for crafting. My printables came from my Froggy Stuff's vlog, you just have to search in my Froggy Stuff printables. First thing I'm going to show you is how to make books like these. So, you're going to take your printouts and then you're going to cut out your printouts. Then you're going to take your scrap paper and you're going to fold it back and forth so that it's the same size as one of the covers, making sure not to go over the spine. But you are going to use the spine of your printout, there's a little line where it was marked, and you're going to see how thick you need to fold the paper. Mine ended up being about four folds thick. Uh, and then you trim the excess and using your glue stick you're going to glue some of the pages together. Making sure that you can still open your book. Once your pages are mostly dry you're going to take your glue stick again and put glue on the inside of your cover and then stick that cover down to the book pages making sure you can still open it. And once that's dried a little, you're going to take your scissors and trim off the edges. Using this technique, you can glue cardboard to the inside of your book cover, so it just creates a false book which doesn't open. My Froggy Stuff Printables also has the option to print out book filler pages, which you cut out, fold and then glue in just the same as what you've done for this. Next thing I'm going to show you how to make is... Um, thick books and by that I mean they've got very thick spines and can open up and have text inside. Taking your printout you are going to cut all the different pieces leaving the book pages intact. Mine also came with a poster which I'm going to use. Now taking your template which you cut out you're going to glue them down onto a piece of card. I used a cereal box. While that's drying, you can fold and glue your pages together using the same techniques as before. Once both pieces have dried, you're going to glue them together to make a whole book. If you follow what I'm doing on screen, it'll be a lot easier than me trying to describe. By then, your templates should have dried and you can cut them out. Unfortunately, I forgot to film the bit where I glued them to the back of the cover, but it's straightforward enough. Just remember to leave space between the covers and the spine. Next, we're going to glue down the folds. I do the side pieces first to make it easier, and then I do the top pieces, remembering that when you glue it down, you need to make sure the book can fold. So I use my nail to push into the crevice between the spine and the cover template pieces, which have now been glued down. Once that has dried, you're going to take the book pages, making sure they're facing the correct way, you're going to glue that into your book cover. Thank you guys for watching!